On this video, I'll teach you how to automate appointment reminders through WhatsApp. Before, I want to show you what the end result looks like. So we have this calendar here and I'm going to create an appointment at four o'clock. I am going to select myself as the client and finally, I'm going to save it. What this does is that this triggers a WhatsApp message that gets immediately sent to the patient. In that case, that will be me. And it's telling me the following, reminder of appointment with Dr. Mark. Hi, do you have an appointment with Dr. Mark at this time? Will I be able to attend? I'm going to click yes. And then if I go back to the calendar, the cool thing is look at this. Now this has a green dot. And the green dot means that the patient or the client said yes. So we can expect them for them to come to the appointment. So there's many more features, but that's the core functionality of this app that we're going to be using, which is called Confirmify. All right, so let's get going. Step number one, you gotta go to confirmify.com. I'll leave a link in the description. Uh, make sure that you're in the English version and then click start for free. Create an account using Google or your email and password, whatever you like. After finishing creating your account, the step two is to configure the message and the timing of those messages. So just here in the list of calendars, pick one of them and you'll go to the setup. On this page, you can configure a lot of things. I'll just highlight a couple of them and then you can go and dive into all the options. So the first one is the message type and I want to show you the difference. There's an RSVP confirmation message and there's the just a reminder. So RSVP looks like this. You're going to notice that it asks the client a question. Will you be able to attend the appointment, right? And, and it has two buttons. So the person gets to confirm or cancel it. While the just a reminder, basically it's just a reminder. It assumes that the person is gonna go. It just says, hey, this is the date and time of your appointment. So depending on your business, you might choose one or the other. After that, we have the delivery time. So how many hours before the appointment do we want to send that message? So right now it's set at 24 hours and I can pick any other time. Again, that depends on your business. After that, you get to configure your message. Okay, how is it going to look? So very simple, you have a title, you have a body, you can use a variable for the name of the person if you want to. Um, and yeah, it's very straightforward. You just type there whatever you want and uh, it shows you how the message is going to look like. After that, you have a couple more things that you can play with. So you get to use a second reminder on the day of the appointment. So basically, let's say I have an appointment tomorrow, 24 hours before I'm going to get that RSVP message. And then on the day of the appointment, um, if I select here, let's say, at 9 a.m., I will get a second message saying me, hey, you have an appointment today at this time with Dr. Mark. And you get to, to play with this as well with this template. And finally, you have an after appointment message. So in case you wanna say thank you, or perhaps you want to send your client to a survey or to a Google review, you can use that message to send a link to, to, to there. So yeah, it's pretty cool. After that, you get to save that and we're ready for the final step, which is pretty much schedule your appointment, right? So you can come here to the calendar and yeah, right here, creating an appointment is super simple. Let's say I'm going to create one tomorrow. So I'll come here and I'll create one at 2 p.m. from two to three. And again, you can create new clients in case you don't have them uh, or you can download the mobile app and import them straight from your phone. But I already did that, so I have them here. So I'll create um, an appointment with myself tomorrow at two and uh, I'll type the name here, which is the name that will be used for the variable. I'll save this. And again, I'll already show you that what, what this looks like before. I will get a WhatsApp message immediately because right now it's uh, 4 p.m. here and I created for tomorrow at 2 p.m. So we're 22 hours away from it and therefore the system say, hey, we got to send this message right away. So they did that. But if I had created for the day after or maybe later, I wouldn't have received it until that 24 hour mark. So anyway, I got the message in this time. I'm going to say no just to show you the difference. And when I click no um, and I go back here, you're going to see that now it's red. So now I know that this person won't attend the appointment. And that's it. We automated appointment reminders through WhatsApp. This app, Confirmify, has a lot of things that I didn't show, like you can upload a CSV with your appointments, you can import clients, you can invite your team members. So yeah, there's a lot in there that you can play with. I just wanted to show you the basics and yeah, we did it. So in case if you have any question, just drop it in the comments and I'll be happy to help. And yeah, thank you for watching.